my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ are you ready to listen I'm watching because the gospel today is all about watching looking and seeing John John the Baptist was watching Jesus looking at Jesus and the two disciples also looking at him and he says something lamb of god and then these two start following him and jesus turned around and he sees them rather jesus looked at them again and he asked what are you looking for then they are they have been looking for probably a place to stay or for messiah or jesus or christ redeemer then they say they ask where do you stay they, they saw they, jesus says you will see about seeing then they saw it and stayed with him now andrew suddenly realized hey, this is what we have been looking for again looking then he remembered not only me my brother also also looking for the same thing and went and told him hey we found the messiah and they both of them ran and andrew presented simon to jesus now jesus again jesus also looking at him jesus looked at simon and said you are simon son of john but you will be called kephas he saw a rock in this man john the baptist saw a lamb of god in jesus this disciple saw a messiah in him Jesus seeing a rock in Simon then he called your kephas or peter which means rock dear friends when you look at someone when you looking when you watch something you will see you will perceive the thing that or person you look at as you know with the knowledge you have this is we call assimilation you assimilate something you perceive and assimilate it with the knowledge you have and you understand it In the first reading that little boy samuel heard a voice he could not recognize the writer says he was still a boy and he did not have the knowledge of god's voice therefore he could not recognize he could not see god in that voice why he has not seen god yet these apostles who followed jesus had been waiting looking for the messiah John the Baptist had been preaching about the Messiah the lamb of god before they preached before they looked for they had seen that in them this is the secret dear friends what we see in others is what we have seen in us what we see in others is what we have seen in us suddenly without doing anything we look at the person and say he looks very selfish he looks very proud and we judge people how do we know because we are proud i am selfish so i know my own this is what happens so in your gatherings in your meetings in your friend circle when you hear someone criticizing another person please note that person i trait that he is talking about in the other person is in the same person as well who speaks that's why he is talking about it she is saying that because she has it first let's be careful when we judge that's why jesus said don't judge you'll be judged 
and again jesus said be aware of your thoughts because your thoughts your what you are thinking would become your words whatever you say is what you have been thinking of so your thoughts if your thoughts are bad all your bad words will come out and your words become your action and actions become your habit and habits will make your personality therefore we have to correct the roots first how does this thinking happen how are these thoughts erupted in our minds it's the way we look at ourselves the way you look at yourself is what your thoughts going to be if you can see god spirit in you dear friends you see god in you and you have become spiritual and your words will become spiritual as well and your thoughts become spiritual actions will be spiritual what has happened to us is we have no much time to sit down calm down and enjoy that tranquility peace of mind and see the spirit in us please note my dear friends we are not physical beings just because you are carrying a body around with you this body this machine is given temporarily for you to use it for some time while you in, are in this world and throw it out and get back you are not going to last forever in this body you are not physical it's a temporary existence rather we are spiritual we are spiritual beings our spirit that will continue for another millions and millions and billions of years forever therefore we need to understand who we are and get away from this rat race at least rat race at least for 5 minutes per day and sit down and look at your spirit look have a hard look just as john the baptist did look at jesus and you recognize your spirit within you you will be able to recognize the spirit of god in the other person and you realize all of us are the same thereafter john the baptist could recognize jesus because he has been looking at himself as god's messenger god in him he was thinking of that talking about it and that became his personality and here jesus comes he recognized him he saw in him someone else would have seen he is 30 now not even married look at the dress he is wearing and shabby beard and long hair they would have seen someone else a hippie in jesus useless fellow not married not even having children rather John the Baptist seen through and through the spirit of Jesus and say lamb of god the redeemer that's how you recognize because John the Baptist had in his heart his spirit recognized other disciples also had been waiting for the messiah they recognized him now jesus being the redeemer he is confident he is now he knows what he is supposed to do he is a confident one among everyone now he is like a rock when peter comes or simon comes he sees the spirit of this man there he sees the rock inside simon and says you are the rock i'll build my church on you so dear friends if you see the goodness in you you is the goodness in the others if you see always the fault flaws weaknesses of the other your partner your children and your friends don't blame them don't blame them that's your problem you are having a problem within you have not seen the spirit of god in you you have not seen the goodness in you therefore sit down and reflect and 
understand that you are spiritual you are good god has created you beautifully in his likeness then perceive your own self think about it reflect about it pray over it you will talk about it and you will act in spiritual way you will see others as spiritual beings there will be peace therefore my dear friends look carefully and see look at your own self first amen <laughs>